Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is the YouTube channel vlog show in which video games, flash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. We are at episode 165 of the show. How's it going, everyone? It's a lovely Saturday afternoon, um, afternoon, 12.32 p.m., November 19, 2022. As if you can hear outside, um, we're getting ready for the holiday season. We're trying to kick things up in high gear. And... Well, we're here, you know, we're here to kick things up in high. Um, we're here to kick things up in high gear. They're blasting Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton Christmas special. That's my parents. I love them, and they're they're decorating the tree and all that. And I'm just relaxing here because I knew I got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of ground to cover. So, um, we're gonna do this a little differently than than um, the wrestling reports than um, differently because I did not, <coughs> but. Um, it's concerning AEW Rampage, I'll get to that. I want to give a shout out to a couple of uh, a couple of friends of mine I ran to at the mall today. Um, I got out of work at the mall. I, I took a picture because uh, it was Lena Vega because she was part of the Spencer's Naruto uh, advertisement and she was on there. And I decided well, I want to tweet the picture to her and let her, let her know. No, she's not noticed. So, but a couple of, I ran to a couple of friends of mine while they while I was there. Um, Chris Gearton and Wayne Torres. Um, guys, shout out to you guys. Hope you guys are watching this and hope you guys are having a wonderful time. And um, now, a lot, and they've been asking me about TikTok. So I've been doing, doing some TikTok videos, but lately, it ha um, and I have not been doing them because we've been busy. Life's been crazy over here. And I will get back to the TikTok videos. I promise you guys this. It will be a whole lot of fun doing um, TikTok videos again. This time, I'll probably do a TikTok video of, you know, Showing you guys my new room and stuff. If you have a, uh, a TikTok, <coughs> <coughs> if you guys have a TikTok and follow me on there, I'm cool with that. Uh, let's talk about what happened last night on SmackDown. As you know, um, next week is Survivor Series War Games, and as you know, the War Games teams are being set up, and uh, the men's uh, the men's War Games has already been set up, and the women's War Games, well, we're one competitor away. The Brawling Brutes and Drew McIntyre kick off SmackDown and address the heart for a crowd. And even Sheamus asked Drew McIntyre if they want to, um, uh, to be part of the teammates. And Drew McIntyre says, sure, why the heck not? In fact, Sheamus said, mentioned he got married three weeks ago and asked Drew to be his best man. So, and Sami Zayn interrupts the Brawling Brutes, saying that it's going to be the blood, the bloodline is going to win war games and all that. We don't know the fifth member. And the World Cup first round, and it will, and the winner of this World Cup first round will be meeting Braun Strowman in the semifinals. As you know, this World, SmackDown World Cup tournament will um, will determine who uh, the number one contender to Gunther's Intercontinental Championship. Ricochet Mustafa Ali, who has been Mustafa Ali has not been one hundred percent since his matchup against Bobby Lashley this past Monday Night Raw. Ricochet ended up winning the matchup, but. In the end, both Ricochet and Ali do have respect for each other. And Jay Uso and Sami Zayn were arguing about the whole uh, thing that Sami Zayn interrupted them. And then Jimmy Uso says, you got to calm down. The, the Tribal Chief's going to be here. We need to get it together. Well, Caleb Braxton interviewed the New Day after their tough loss against the Usos last week. For the tag team titles. Hey, you know, that record meant a lot to us. But we're going we're gonna to keep going. We're going to move on. And then Imperia interrupts and said, this is the reason why. Uh, our sport's been disgraced, yabba, yabba, yabba. And then they were making fun, fun of Gunter, looking like Lurch from the Adams Family. And then they were making fun of Imperium. He says, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to get ourselves a partner, and we'll take you three on. And and then um, and then Gunter's like, thank you for proving our point. So, and Matt, Cass, uh, Matt Cat Moss and Emma were talking about, uh, at the gorilla position, about... Um, his matchup against Karrion Cross is I should have won and all that. Emma's trying to, you know, say change it up a little bit. Then Mad Cat Moss went one on one with Karrion Cross. Cross did defeat him with with the Cross jacket once again. 
But then after the matchup, and Emma runs down to check up on Moss after the match. In real life, they're dating. I don't know if anybody knows this. It's like a play on thing. Well, Bray Wyatt addresses the Hartford crowd, apologizing to L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight interrupts Wyatt, and then, and then, L.A. Knight slapped Bray Wyatt twice, saying we're even. Ah, uh, well, now we'll come back to haunt you. And the Usos were confronting Karrion Cross and Scarlet to see if he's the fifth member of uh, Drew McIntyre's War Games. Is no, I do things on my own. And when I get Roman Reigns, and I will get Roman Reigns, and I will get the title, I'll do it on my own, without any help. <coughs> Jimmy Uso goes, he's not it, he's not it. Shotzi went one-on-one -on -one with Shayna Baszler, and Shayna Baszler had Ronda Rousey in her corner. And, uh, and Shotzi had nobody in her corner, and then Ronda Rousey was causing too much trouble at ringside. That prompted Raquel Rodriguez to show up during the matchup and be in, in, in Shotzi's corner distracting Baszler, and then Shotzi took advantage of that role and pinned Shayna Baszler in the middle of the ring, giving her momentum for next week's Survivor Series War Games. Megan Morant interviewed a departing LA, interviews a departing LA Knight, because you're not leaving out of here because you're scared, and LA Knight's trying to deny it, deny it, deny it. Then it goes to the commercial, come back to commercials, officials and agents were prying stuff off of LA Knight, and as you know, an LA Knight departed, I think a mask of Uncle Howdy, don't know how that... And there's a lot of stuff that was on top of um, L.A. Knight. And L.A. Knight has been laid out, so officials and agents have been trying to remove stuff off it. I think you should never cross Bray Wyatt, Mr. Knight. And that's not an insult. That's the fact of life. Six-man uh, tag team matchup. The New Day, uh, Imperium came out. The Intercontinental Champion Gunther with Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. But then the New Day came out and they had a partner. Braun... Strowman. I said, well, this might be this might be giving us a little peek, sneak peek of if he uh, Braun Strowman wins the Intercontinental, I mean, wins the SmackDown World Cup tournament. Him and uh, Gunter at it. It was a couple of times when Gunter did use the chops, but it didn't affect Strowman one bit. So, anyways, Strowman and New Day did pick up the victory, by the way. And then Caleb Braxton interviewed Braun Strowman after the matchup, and he said, I can't wait. I got a little taste of what Gunter's all about. Can't wait to uh, face him. Win, win this tournament, face him. And then Ricochet's like, well, well, you have to get by me first in order to do that. So, and, then, and we'll tell you how we flippy boys do it. And uh, Braun Strowman made a comment about the flip, um, the the uh, flippy little boys and all that. So, I've done, and, and I figured, you know, that street, uh, that, that street, that tweet that got Strowman in so much heat with the, uh, well, the young athletes, they decided to use it as a storyline. Smart move. So, so uh, Strowman didn't really know what he's gotten himself into. I Then, um, World, another World Cup first rounder, Butch and Sami Zayn uh, fought. And then Butch ended up winning the matchup. Meanwhile, Rich Holland, Sheamus, and McIntyre brawl with the Usos and Solo Sokoa. And then, as the brawls continue when Butch and Sami Zayn were going at it, Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman arrive. And then... Roman Reigns was Superman punching everybody uh, on the opposite. Then Kevin Owens arrives, knocks out one of the Usos. Owens confronts Zayn. Ray, Regal attacks... Um, Reigns. Regal. Reigns attacks Owens. And Owens attacks back. And then Kevin Owens is the fifth member of, of Team Brawling Brutes for War Games. This is going to be a fight. And then you some, you know, something personal between Zayn and Owens. That is going to be... Very, very interesting to say the least. I can't wait for War Games next week. Survivor Series, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be top notch, awesome. Um, get there. Okay. Um, let's go to NXT. Um, NXT level up. Um, a couple of debuts actually on NXT level up. Thea Hale. Um, uh, she's been on NXT. Uh, we'll take on the debut. Uh, took on the debuting Danny Palmer, and uh, Thea Hale did pick up the victory over over Danny Palmer. Palmer Kelly Kincaid was interviewed. Another debuting superstar for NXT Level Up, Oba Femi. He's from he's from Nigeria as well as uh, as well as Omos is, and uh, and he says he hopes to uh, toss around big guys. So uh, Dante and Dante Jen took him on. Took on Obafemi and uh, 
and Da Tang Chen did end up winning the matchup. Oro Mensa, formerly known as Oliver Carter, took on Channing Stax Lorenzo, and Stax did pick up the victory over over Oro Mensa. So it will be very interesting to see what happens this Tuesday night on NXT. That is all the time we have on the show on the next episode, episode 166. We will be I will be doing AEW Rampage, and not only that, we'll, I'll give you the picks and predictions for full gear. Uh, even though I did with my friends yesterday, I figured it'd be a good way to do it. So until then, until the next episode comes around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Production. And in association with... A sweet, bumbling bofo raver telepictures and distribution. See you next episode, and have a very blessed day.